to welcome Sarah and Melissa. Thanks so much for joining me this morning, ladies. Thanks for Thanks having for us. Us. Yes, exciting time. Apple Jam is yeah. coming up. Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Apple Jam is, how it was born, how it came to be, just the, the roots of the, uh, of the Absolutely. event. Absolutely. So it was formerly known as Apple Fest, not mm -hmm. to confuse people. Um, <laughs> uh, 18 years strong, and you know we thought it was probably time for a rebrand. And so we decided to take all the fun activities and, and pack it into one day instead. So it's a one-day event this year. It's on Sunday, um, September 22nd from 10 to 5. Um, a lot of the family favorites are still there, the hay rides, the food and craft vendors. Um, but we have a special focus this year on music, and instead of carnival games, we're doing family-friendly games that are free. So people can come out and hang out all day with their friends and family and just enjoy a, a fun time. Wonderful. So, Melissa, what is your favorite thing about this event that's coming? It's, you know, previously Apple Fest, brand new Apple Jam, mm -hmm. you, same thing, different package. But what is your favorite thing that happens every year at Apple, Apple Jam? You know, I think I love seeing familiar faces that come out, people that make this an annual event mm -hmm. um, because it's a great time, a great family-friendly thing to come out and enjoy the day. This year we want to, like, take a different take on everybody's so busy so come on out bring a bag chair listen to some music and chill out for the day there'll be yard games for families um, you can check out the Buckstop junction buildings will be open and so i think that's my favorite part is just the community support that comes out year after year to to support the Bismarck Cancer Center Foundation and, and also just a community event. Absolutely, it is so fun to see those Buckstop Junction buildings mm -hmm. open and those kids I'm sure are just running wild and having a lot of fun. Yeah. So Sarah, once you know all the fun of Apple Jam is over and then it's time to kind of get back to business to you guys, start uh, doling out the money that you raise. Mm -hmm. Where does the money go to? Uh, does it stay with the Apple Jam community or does it go to Bismarck Cancer Center to, it, to yeah. be distributed? All the money goes right back to our um, Bismarck Cancer Center Foundation and mm -hmm. we're super proud to say 97 cents of every dollar raised stays local benefits those going through a cancer journey so we have fully furnished patient apartments we have um, all within walking distance of the cancer center we have transportation assistance massage and physical therapy we have dietary yoga classes art classes um, you name it whatever we can do to really wrap our arms around those patients yeah it's, a, it's an amazing community that you guys have built at the Bismarck San Cancer Center always taking such good care of your patients. It's a very scary and sometimes lonely journey that these patients can be on. So to for people to be able to help that mm -hmm. cause, I think is very important. Uh, what are some wonderful stories that you guys have heard come from, you know, the donations that the Bismarck Cancer Center gets from Apple Jam? What are, what are some of those stories? Well, you know, um, massage therapy. So mm -hmm. when patients come and they're having to have their radiation treatments, we have to get them on our hard table. They have to lay super still that entire time. Sometimes people have to hold their breaths. And so it can be very stressful, just that part of it. And mm -hmm. so having patients have the ability to have up to two massages a week is one of those services that's supported by the funds that come through Apple Jam. Mm -hmm. And so when patients um, tell you, oh man, that really just relieved that stress so much, mm -hmm. it's just so rewarding when we see those patients every day and then you see those services in action and you see the relief or just the joy that it brings them that is just something that's super rewarding to me. I can imagine being able to bring a, a bright spot to an otherwise mm -hmm. very difficult journey is yeah. just very rewarding for on both ends there. So Sarah, you mentioned uh, bring a chair. Is there anything yeah. else people should be coming prepared with to, to Apple Jam? Is there anything else that they need to bring with them in order to enjoy the day? No, um, I think it's just it's bring a chair, come relax. We encourage people to park at the fairgrounds. We'll we'll bus you on over. Oh, wonderful! Um, kids ten and under are free, so um, just a charge for adults. And yeah, and enjoy the whole day. There's food out there. There's a beer gardens for adults. There's uh, <laughs> games for family and kids, and so something for everyone. Excellent. So even yeah. parents, kids, kids are old enough. They can be <laughs> yes. like, you go over here. We're taking some alone time over yep. here. <laughs> Wonderful. So. Well, Sarah and Melissa, thank you so much for coming on and telling us about Apple Jam this year. It's going to be a great event, and hopefully the weather will be perfect for it, nice and crisp, yeah. just like That's Apple right. should be. Right. Yeah. Thank Wonderful. You for thank Thanks you. so much.